morning and welcome to night seven of Hanukkah, which means tomorrow night's night eight, which means the holiday is almost done. But we are gonna enjoy the last two days. We got a lot going on. We have a family Hanukkah party today and we are hosting a Hanukkah party for our friends tomorrow. Although it's not a party, as I mentioned in yesterday's vlog. So I have a very important, crucial question for you guys this morning. Okay, so I have a crucial question this morning, which I would appreciate if anyone who has a thought on this matter could weigh in in the comments below. Please let me know. So as you all know, I'm no fashion blogger. I have not worn an accessory in my hair since my veil at my wedding. But I purchased one of these little nifty things from Amazon because I know they're all the rage. So my question for you guys is, can I wear one of these? Please let me know in the comments. Is this me? Is this not me? Like, can I pull this thing off? The reason, the reason that I care so much is because I think that if I could wear a headband, I wouldn't have to blow dry my hair every time. I wanna look nice. So, I'd appreciate you guys weighing in. And if all the comments say no, I'll give it, I'll donate it to somebody who's more fashionable than me. All right, let's start this day. Also, I showed you guys last night the very, very special present that Corey got, which is this little bunny made from his hospital blanket. And I thought I'd show you guys Max's because I'm just tidying up right now anyways. So this is Max's bunny with his name on it from his hospital blanket. And now we have Corey's. We're gonna go put it in your room. Yeah, we need to clean up his room and decide. Oh. That's cute. Decide where this little bunny is gonna go. Stay tuned. In other exciting present news, I got this yesterday in the mail. So this package came from Michelle Brenner, who I follow on Instagram. She told me she was sending me something for Hanukkah for the boys, and I was hoping it was gonna be this book. So her account is Hebrew Lesson, and she does the most creative, entertaining um, Hebrew learning activities. Um, so this is her book, Alphabet Animals, using the Hebrew letter. So I'm going to open it and show you guys. Okay, so each letter of the alphabet is like beautifully illustrated um, with an animal, and then it corresponds with like the animal that it's talking about. So Gimel is for Gamal, which means camel in Hebrew. Um, let's see, Zion is for zebra. That's an easy one. Uh, let's see. Nun is for Namer, which is tiger. So it's just a really beautiful way to teach children about the alphabet, but it's also just like a beautiful coffee table book to have in your own house. Peel means elephant. So yeah, I had seen some of her illustrations on Instagram and I was just so excited that she sent this book to us. It's so beautiful. Okay, I didn't wear the headband, but if I get a lot of comments saying I should, maybe I will tomorrow. So we're off, we're going to Hanukkah party number one of the week.
So we are all done with our Hanukkah party now. I know that was a lot of presents, but there's a lot of people going on and everything. So it was really nice. And the boys and us got such nice stuff. So that was exciting. And now we are headed home. We're definitely going to walk our dogs this afternoon because it is such a nice day. And then I think I'm going to start party prepping for tomorrow, which means latke making. It is time. I've been waiting. What? Stop talking. He hates when I vlog. Stop talking. Stop talking. Okay, Mommy, just want to finish talking. telling them that I'm going to be hopefully making latkes hey. this afternoon. Mommy's See talking you guys soon. to the people. Okay, we are back home. My littlest one is napping. My oldest one is helping Andrew set up the basement downstairs. I think we're going to put um, some toys down there for the kids that come to play with. But you know how um, when you have like a lot of stuff to do, you just get kind of paralyzed and do nothing? And by you, I mean me. <laughs> so um, there's like so much I should be doing like cleaning up and starting to cook and prep and all that and said I'm like should I organize our storage closet right now like no Mary you don't but basically I just um I wanted I want the the main area of the house to be a neat and tidy and to not have certain toys in it that I know Max is not going to want to share that kind of thing so I'm doing a little bit of a toy clean out right now which is the worst time to do it. I told myself I would wait till after Hanukkah to do this, but so um, this is what we got going on. These are all the toys on the main level. These are the magnetiles, which we're gonna keep here because they're perfect for kids to build with together and to share. I think all of the cars, all the Melissa and Doug stuff should go into Max's room. And then over here, I put out some of Corey's new Hanukkah toys because there's a lot of babies coming. So he got this like cleaning set from Melissa and Doug from his grandparents and this cute little um, vacuum. He also has one of these. So I think all of these will be good. And then I put some more baby toys on here that he'll be happy to share. So yeah, it's coming together. But yeah, basically I'm organizing toys for no reason. So while I've been putzing around the main floor, the boys have been very busy getting the basement ready. You ready to show what you guys have been doing? Reedy, you've been helping? We have, <laughs> yeah. I need a movie car. Oh, some cars, okay, let's go upstairs and get some movie cars. Okay, we blew this up, put a bunch of balls in it. So yeah, the basement is coming along. I just realized, Andrew, you're gonna be mad that we have not put photos in those frames. <laughs> I was supposed to do it a long time ago. So anyways, I was, I was waiting for a sale. So yeah, the basement is coming along. We thought um, there's gonna be a bunch of kids that the kids can just hopefully play down here. Yeah, I gotta go order the pictures right now. All right, that's all, I shouldn't have come down there. I knew I'd, I knew, I knew I'd get told to do stuff if I stepped out there. That was a mistake. the best time of the day. Do you know why it's the best time of the day, guys? Max, do you wanna know why? Yeah. Excuse you, Corey. We are gonna go on a stroller. W-A-L-K, I'm not gonna say it because the D-O-Gs will freak out. But uh, yeah, I think they're ready. I'm gonna have to tone down my excitement a tiny bit because once they get wind of it, <laughs> that's it, that's all. But yeah, actually what we usually do on a typical Shabbat Saturday is we go for a family hike and then a family big walk with the DOGs. Oh my God, I forgot what I'm supposed to be spelling here. Um, so it's kind of our favorite thing to do. And because we've been on vacation this past week, the dog walkers gotten to do all that fun stuff. So, oh, you see dad? I think someone sees you. It's like nobody cares about mom. Um, so yeah, let's go on a neighborhood, W-A-L-K. All right, we're in our stroller, ready to go for our walk. These are red and blue and pink ones. This one got three lollipops somehow. That's because mom was on These charge. These are red and blue and pink. <laughs> and this one has a little cookie. Huh, Corey? Um, I always like to show my stroller when we go on a stroller walk because it's just amazing. It's a Phil and Ted one. They're a New Zealand brand, so I just don't see, whoa, this, this is my phone. Um, <laughs> I just don't see much talk of them here in the U.S. as much for strollers. We red, love this one. Red, yellow, and pink, but yeah. There's little ones at the bottom. You say hi, Corey. Yeah, I get that drool. Um, so yeah, let's go. Doggies! About to come out. Here they come. And they're ready. <laughs> you just happy to be out? Pink.
It is the moment y'all have been waiting for. I am finally making latkes. It's happening. Got my PJ Library apron. Got all my ingredients right here. And don't tell my grandmother, but I'm gonna be using Little Kosher Lunches Hanukkah, Hanukkah Laka recipe. She has eight and a half thousand views on that recipe as of right now, and I trust her because I've seen her making like thousands of latkes for her preschool and stuff like that, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Also, it's a gluten-free recipe, and one of my friends that's coming tomorrow is gluten-free, so I want her to be able to enjoy some latkes, so let's do it. All you need is three russet potatoes, one onion, I think that's two large an onion, so maybe half of that, and an egg, and a box grater, which I don't have, but this should be fine, I hope. And yeah, let's get started. So I'm gonna do a sneaky little time lapse, which I don't usually do in my vlogs because they take too much time to edit, but <laughs> for the latkes, it's worth it. Okay, I finished shredding the potatoes. Melissa, my arm hurts. Um, she does not allow food processors for this recipe because she wants those long strands of potato. I'm following along, but next up I have to shred an onion and I'm a little bit scared because onions make me cry. Send me string. Look at this pile of potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna finish up this recipe. Do I dry my eyes? <laughs> if you guys want the full recipe, I will link it down below, and I'll catch up with you guys when I'm frying. And I'm done! It actually didn't even take that long. I think it was maybe 20 minutes of frying at the most. I was a little nervous when I got started, but that's always how it is. You have to you know, be careful with your oil and everything. Once you get into your rhythm, good to go. So um, yes, thank you Melissa for that recipe. So I realized once I finished cooking the latkes and I was prepping some dinner that this entire week of vlogs, you guys have never seen me cook a single thing. And you might think that I don't feel feed my family, which is not true, although this has been a weird week. But I wanna show you guys a very, very typical dinner in my house. So this is ravioli from Trader Joe's and I just added a bag of spinach to it. So I like to call this cooking as in like it's mostly a prepared meal from Trader Joe's but I either add some vegetables or something to it just to like you know add to it a little bit. Glory what are you doing? You playing with your Hanukkah toys? Yeah. So yeah that's a very typical cooking evening for me. I actually love cooking, I love baking, but it's very hard with two little ones running around and making a million latkes to do that too. So I just wanna show you guys my real life. And it is almost time to light candles, open presents for the seventh night of Hanukkah. Well guys, that was abrupt. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Weren't you supposed to be opening Corey's present and lighting candles right now? Yes, but we had a bit of a situation with Corey making a really big mess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, he needs to be changed immediately and into the bath. So that's what we're doing right now. That is life with little ones. Hopefully very soon we'll we be back. We will be back to opening his present, lighting candles, and eating dinner. <laughs> Stay tuned. Happy Hanukkah.
a happy Hanukkah from my family tears. I'll see you tomorrow night for the last night of Hanukkah and a big not Hanukkah party. See you tomorrow. Bye.